offended that you're offended by me taking offense. Trump can't build a wall. Why does your house have a fence? I believe the two. No, like literally, we've all been censored off YouTube, so you gotta go find us on Rumble now. I mean, it's. I'm here till Tuesday. Don't worry about it. Okay, so my name is Jordan Sather, and I am here to. Sorry, I forgot my words. I apologize. I'm nervous here, not gonna lie. All you guys, everybody out there on the live stream. So, my name is Jordan Sather, and for the next 30 minutes, I'm either going to make you think I'm onto something or that I'm crazy. Probably a little bit of both. And for the last four and a half years, I've basically been the epitome of what General Flynn calls a digital soldier, basically a social media journalist. And, you know, it's, it's been a ride. It has been a crazy ride. And I've basically become the most censored person on the internet not named Donald Trump. I've had 18 platforms now censor me off of the internet. Yesterday, TikTok censored me. After just two videos. Two. One of them was about the election fraud, so, you know, of course China wouldn't want that on one of their platforms. I get it, I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, the main reason why I've been so censored is because I pretty much go no holds barred and try to just dig into any single subject I can and find the deepest truths about it, read it, and speak it to my audience. And Q. Q. Most definitely. So, remember when Trump was on stage a year ago? Disinfectant. Fake news media calls him a bleach drinker for a week. Yeah, I know that all too well. Well, let me tell you, Trump knew what he was talking about. And a lot of people out there have no idea what Trump was talking about. They think it was... Uh, think it was uh. Trump says, oh yeah, I'm joking, I'm joking. You know, you might have not been. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about UFOs. I'll actually maybe help you to understand how the UFO narratives we're seeing on the mainstream media are a bunch of half-truths that they're putting out to probably brush a lot of other more important stuff under the rug. Plus, it's a hell of a distraction, I mean... You got the audits going on, you got the Wuhan, Wuhan Lee, lab leak getting exposed, you've got Fauci getting thrown on the bus everywhere, like, literally. Yeah, yeah. So they're basically, you know, look at that shiny object in the sky, you know, look, look at that, look at that. Trying to get everybody distracted. And then, we're going to talk about Q. Because, yeah, I've, I've been there since like day two, maybe. I was, I was the first person on YouTube to come across the drops and start talking about them. And since then, I've made probably a thousand videos dissecting every aspect of the subject and trying to... I just learned about it myself, but help people learn about it too. So those are the main topics. Interested in some extracurricular activities. And <laughs> yeah, was John Podesta's emails getting leaked by WikiLeaks. And the other one was, of course, Trump winning the election. Now, here's the thing. Through 2016, I was convinced that Trump was controlled opposition. I was like, oh, freaking Illuminati, they're too powerful. and Two sides of the same coin. That was my thought process. But once I saw Podesta's emails come out, once I read them and noticed all the food code words in them, I took a look at John Podesta, I'm like, that dude's skinny, he is not, he's not eating that much pizza, it must be something. Lo and behold, a couple of days later, all across the news, QAnon conspiracy theorists suggest drinking bleach to, to cure coronavirus. All across the news, I mean, it was all around the world. Lo and behold, a few months later, Donald Trump goes up during a White House press conference and suggests the UV light and the disinfectant. My jaw just dropped. I mean, it's kind of a, they're kind of playing us for stupid, honestly, with that particular subject. Because if you really dig down into it, you know, the narratives that they, they like to tell us about it, all the talking heads in the mainstream media, they'll say, well, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Nikola Tesla. There were other inventors during that time, too. One named Thomas Townsend Brown, who was making metallic discs levitate with high-voltage electrostatic charge. He called it electrogravitics. You know, and it's, and it's very interesting because the natural rate of technological progression is exponential. 1G, 2G. Now, I mean, geez, our phones have widescreen photos and... 5G technology, all sorts of stuff. You think of te televisions, same thing. Big boxes, 10, 15 years ago, that weighed like 500 pounds. Now they're like this thin, and you hang them on your wall. Technology has an exponential growth rate. Uh, we can talk about Q for the last few minutes that I'm up here talking to you guys. The, uh, you know, what is Q? Q, 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 Q. Who is Q? Q, 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 Q. It's who is Q. A lot of people are obsessed with who is it? Who, 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 who? Who, who, who? And to me, it's more of a what. What is a what? What is Q? Intelligence dissemination program. It also is a very convenient way to put out some counter intel to, you know, make the bad guys nervous. So, Q, you know, Q, you know, Q was, it was very helpful while it was going. Infiltration over invasion. What are we seeing now with kind of the Q movement or Patriot Truth movement that's out there on social media? There's just a lot of dumb clickbait. Ugh. Ugh. I am sorry, but there's just so much disinformation that's out there on... It's, it's really targeting the platforms that we've all been funneled into. You know, we're not on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook anymore. We're not allowed to be on those. So we've, we've gotten funneled into, like, Gab and Parler, especially Telegram. A lot of people on Telegram now. Telegram, man, I have a love-hate relationship with that app. It's, it's helpful. It's really great. But at the same time, it's just, like, it's so easy to create fake accounts to create, you know, everybody thinks like the whole Trump family is on Telegram because it's so easy to create these, these fake accounts on there. I'm just like, no, you have to be careful. And you have to be careful with a lot of these people that are claiming they have insiders or these contacts and military intel. I'm like, you're, you're a dude making videos in your basement and like, you're not even in America. I mean, you were supposed to trust that you have some military intel. It makes no sense. And then you you're like quantum financial system and the flat earth garbage. And it's just, yeah, it's really making us, the whole movement kind of looks silly. And I, I think a lot
lot of it is planted. Classic COINTELPRO. They plant the dumb stuff out there so the mainstream media can easily weaponize that. Shoot, they might even be planting it themselves with some sock puppet accounts so they can write some hit pieces on the whole movement and then just use that straw man label. You know, it's something we have to, I think, get really uh, particular with, get really specific with, get down into the facts, into the details, and make sure that there is solid reason to believe whatever you might be reading or thinking is the truth from social media. You know, the blessing and a curse of social media. We can use it to wake up the world or we can use it to just black fill ourselves right back to sleep. So... That's pretty much all I had to share with you guys. My time is up here. So, you wonder.tv and we are basically censored everywhere else, but we're still on um, Facebook and uh, some other social media and Telegram. But, um, but yeah, it truly is an honor to be here. So, thank you, all of you. Yeah. You got a mic. My name is Jordan Sather, and four and a half years ago, I started a YouTube channel called Destroying the Illusion. And yeah. And since then, I don't have that channel anymore, unfortunately. I've, I've lost count how many platforms have banned me at this point. At least 17, 18, 19, I don't even know. So now I am, I helped to co-found the We The Media sort of brand there and that Telegram channel. We started that a few months ago. We're up to 220,000 followers on Telegram now, and that's just that one social media platform. And now I've had to branch out to the, all the alternative ones. And my specialty is looking at all the disinformation campaigns, whether that's the mainstream media BS that they always love to feed us, or, in my opinion, more importantly, a lot of the alternative media infiltration, which is a lot, unfortunately. And a lot of people are starting to wake up to it, which is good. But there's more that needs to be done. So that is why I am here. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Zach Payne, and I have a show called Red Pill News on my channel, <laughs> which is called Red Pill 78. Uh, I also post to We The Media, a very excellent group of patriots over there. Uh, also have my own website, redpill78news.com. I also have a Roku channel, redpill78.tv. And I'm on every, virtually every single um, alternative uh, distribution platform you can find. I, I've always liked to think of myself as uh, the, the, the red pill antidote for the mainstream media propaganda. Um, I, I sought to really be a trusted voice in, uh, in, in news and in truth, and I feel like I'm doing an okay job. It's been amazing meeting all of you. It's been probably the highlight of my life to this point, really. We've been told explicitly that there's no outside communications. No outside communications. No outside communications. You know, all of those things are big red flags to me, um, and uh, you, you know, I, I never, you, you know, I, I never want to call out anyone in particular. But I mean, there. Jordan will do that for us. Jordan will do that for us. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I cannot blindly believe. I cannot blindly believe what's going through the grapevine on social media, and then it gets twisted. You know, every time it goes through. Good to be open-minded. It's good to. To th good to be open-minded, it's good to, to think, okay, maybe this is possible, but you don't want to be so open-minded that your brains fall out. You know, it's a good balance to have between that closed-mindedness and open-mindedness. People claiming to rep Q the most are the ones refusing to look at any hard evidence, refusing to talk to anyone they disagree with, and sending their stupid followers after me while simultaneously using my operation as a can shake. Hypocritical, right? exactly what the mainstream media does. Even when Q Plus dropped that huge hint on the board conferring me, they still don't want to look at the evidence. The evidence is there, they just can't seem to put their egos aside for long enough to examine it. There's no way this technology can be ours. It's probably China or the aliens. It's no worries though, because they'll be getting a huge dose of intellectual humility served up to them very soon. But does it matter who I am if the facts I'm presenting are true? Does my age or my personality matter if the facts I'm presenting are true? You always need to examine the evidence and think for yourself. Trust people, but always verify. Because allowing big name influencers to tell you what to believe or who to listen to is a great way for us to end up with more evil leaders in the future. Most smart people will never change their opinion about anything unless they can personally evaluate both the credibility of the source and the veracity of the evidence that that source has to back up their claims. Has anyone else provided pictures, documents, or verifiable evidence like I have? Brain, brain, brain. Spooky stuff, right? And I mean, it's like, are you retarded, bro? 
I'm gonna take a little time, bro. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim.